Hey guys, John here, and uh, so this is a quick little video just giving you guys a taste of this new Star Wars role-playing game that we're playing. Now, it's actually not a new Star Wars role-playing game. This is like the original uh, West End Games D6 system of the Star Wars role-playing game. To this day, out of all the role-playing games I've played, this is still my all-time favorite system, 100%. You can't buy these books anymore. Uh, but you can still get them on Amazon used. I, got, I can buy these for about 15 bucks a piece. But I also know online you can find PDFs of them if you ever wanted to download them yourselves. Anyway, we started a new game. And it's a game that I, I'm running. And I'm calling it Traitor of the Empire. It's a new game we're playing. And it's being played by uh, myself. I'm running the game. Uh, Chris Carr is uh, playing in the game with us, of course, of Nerdwire and right here at the John Campus Show. Fact checker Jonathan is here, of course, of the John Campus Show. Uh, and also my friend uh, Brennan, who is literally a rocket scientist. No, really, he's literally a rocket scientist. And uh, my friend Chris, who's uh, actually one of the uh, co-executive producers on the Umbrella Academy. And he's also with Dark Horse. And uh, we're playing this game. Now, I'm just going to let you know, I had a bunch of people always ask me when we play these role-playing games, can we record them? So here's the thing. We're not putting any production value into this. This is just a webcam or two set up and recording us. And you can see it's really low quality. But here's a few segments, just a few little excerpts of us playing the game last night. So what I want to know from you guys is um, if you're interested, let me know if you're, if you're not interested in it. That's cool. Then I don't have to put any work into it. But if you are interested in seeing us play more of this game, uh, just let me know in the comments section. And uh, for our next week's session, maybe we'll record the whole damn thing and go that way. Here's a few short segments of us playing the game last night. Let me know if you want to see more of it in the future or if not it's all good check it out so it looks like tall is safe all right um so steve zizek like a cool little flip with his gun not not hard enough to where he has to roll a skill check but he does it all the time <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool not not play, enough uh, that he has to skill check. <laughs> okay what weapon uh, are you using using my blaster so okay. i got 4d on for my blaster that, that, that's your blaster skill is 4D? Yeah, well, I, I 3D for dexterity plus one skill point. Yep, so, so your 4D. blaster skill is four. So, And what, what kind of blaster is it again? It's uh, the uh, blaster pistol, so it's a 4D damage. Uh, okay, I'm just looking at your range. Okay, we're going to say this is outside of 10 meters. So okay. we're going to say this is a medium shot for you. Um, and that's a big bar. 10 meters is a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah. go ahead. What's and what's your ski 4D? Okay, so go ahead and make your roll. Uh, oh, that hits 11, 15, 17. Yep, yeah, that hits. All okay, right. so. so I know he's saying he wants to let them know, but the first thing I want to do actually is shoot at this guy right here. He's holding him. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so those, I want to shoot at this guy because okay. he's closer and he's right there. Mm -hmm. His intimidation is more for these guys to stop in their tracks. And you've got him covered for one more shot on this next turn. So it's to hold these two goons back. So, so right. I want to shoot at this guy. Yeah, okay. I want to get the guy who shot me. I want to go after thug number one. Now I want to shoot him with my tiny blaster. I have a blaster pistol that does 4D. How long does a uh, stun? It just lasts one round? Just lasts one well, round. Well, he's stunned, right? Yeah. So, okay. But he's only stunned for... Like, thug he's number already two. Yeah. Thug, he was stunned during his last move, but he won't be stunned for this next turn. Uh, Moga Danny tries to resist you. Mm -hmm. He starts to get up a bit. You slam him back down. Back of his head cracks against the floor. He's knocked out cold. So, so he, in okay. technical terms, Mogadan is now incapacitated. All right. So this guy's right. incapacitated. Kind of this guy's really hurt. So we've got this... And you're aiming for him. Yeah. yeah. All right. Two. Oh, jeez. And you miss. Three. And Steve's. All right, so. <laughs> Come on, Steve's. <laughs> Quit spinning your plaster. <laughs> <laughs> Practice is what gets you good at it. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> under <a> fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> so Mogadan is down and out. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys are right here. This is the cantina here. Okay. All right. This is the spaceport. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're talking about probably half a mile mm -hmm. to get from there to space. So that's where you're at right now. Now, the Imperial Barracks is that big structure right there. 
Okay, so we're, what we want <laughs> to do is go off. this way. Yeah, you get that. This is where you're. This is the docking bay. Plus, we want to get away from that, and we just made a hell of a noise here. So you're thinking about your how much time you've got. Yeah, I'm thinking we just need to make a beeline. In case any route. of you have noticed, yes, I did misspell traitor uh, <laughs> on this particular map. I just noticed that, and I said oh. it was trator. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>